Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, uh, today we're talking about Abram, the altar builder. Okay, and we're going to be reading today from Genesis 12, verses 1 through 9. We read that yesterday, but I want to show you something else in this whole um, uh, teaching today. So it's Abram, the altar maker. Uh, let's read. It says this, The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country and your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And and all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he had set out from Haram. He took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot, all and all the possessions he they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set up for the land of Canaan and arrived there. So now they're in Canaan, okay? Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Merah at Shechem. And at that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar to the Lord there who had appeared to him. Verse 8. From there he went on toward the hills of east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai to the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward Negev. Okay. So how many times did Abram build an altar in this passage? Twice he built an altar. He does it both at the end. You're going to find, too, he's building altars when he is right in line with what God wants him to do, okay? When he uh, is not following uh, God's command, uh, later on we're going to see where he goes to Egypt. He doesn't, he never builds any altars in Egypt, okay? He's far out of God's will at that point, all right? When he was with his father, did he build altars there? Not at all. No, his father was with him, all right? So, he builds altars, he gets to the promised land, and that's where God told him to go, to the promised land. And he ends up building altars there twice. And the altar there, when he builds an altar, it's to show his love for God, okay, and to worship God. That That's what you build the altar for. And don't think of it as like a little thing like, a, oh, I, I'm going to, you know, build this altar and, you know, put this altar on it. No, it's a, a serious thing that um, would take some time to build. And uh, it would be a monument much later. So years later, someone would be walking down that path and they'd go, man, what's all those rocks, you know, piled up there like that for? What? Why Why? Why did people do that? And they, they'd go, oh, yeah, Abram built an altar right there, okay, um, to honor God. So what I want you to see here was, and I've talked about this before. Abram is a lot like you and me. We love the Lord. We want to do everything we can um, to show our love for the Lord. But we still make mistakes. And Abram made mistakes. But here in this passage, he is showing his love for the Lord. And he is building the altars. And he, he like gets to the promised land. He builds one here when God talks to him. And then he goes on further and he builds another altar to show his love for God. And in the same way... Um, hopefully we're showing our love for God in, in the way we honor God, okay? In the way we honor him with our speech and the things that we do. We're not, it's not a works-based um, religion that we're a part of, but we do it because we are honoring God, okay? Uh, so hopefully that makes sense to you. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we journey to Egypt. All right? Lord's blessing. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.